And staying with the race for the White House, former President Donald Trump has once again vowed to protect women, whether they like it or not. Speaking at a rally in Wisconsin on Wednesday, the ex-president even said his advisors called the rhetoric, quote, inappropriate, but in typical Trump fashion, that didn't stop the former reality television star from speaking his mind. And my people told me about four weeks ago, I was saying, no, I want to protect the people. I want to protect the women of our country. I want to protect the women. Sir, please don't say that. Why? They said, we think it's, we think it's very inappropriate for you to say, so why? I'm president. I want to protect the women of our country. They said. They said, sir, I just think it's inappropriate for you to say, pay these guys a lot of money. Can you believe it? I said, well, I'm going to do it whether the women like it or not. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to protect them from migrants coming in. Donald Trump's latest remarks invokes memories of his previous claim that women won't need to think about abortion once he's reelected to the White House. However, the Republican presidential nominee has been buried under an avalanche of criticism given his troubled history of sexual misconduct by dozens of women over the years. During his first term, the former president also appointed three judges to the Supreme Court who helped overturn Roe v. Wade the 50-year landmark ruling that made abortion the law of the land. This seismic ruling has dogged the Republican Party ever since the 6-3 decision came down. Meanwhile, at a campaign event in Arizona on Thursday, Vice President Kamala Harris slammed Donald Trump for his remarks, saying the Republican does not respect the freedom and intelligence of women. And Donald Trump's not done. Did everyone hear what he just said yesterday? That he will do what he wants, quote, and here's where I'm going to quote, whether the women like it or not. And, and we must vote because this is the thing. He does not believe women should have the agency and authority to make decisions about their own bodies. This is the same man who said women should be punished for their choices. He simply does not respect the freedom of women or the intelligence of women to know what's in their own best interest and make decisions accordingly. But we trust women. We trust women. Throughout this campaign, Donald Trump has struggled to connect with women voters mostly because of his controversial stances on reproductive rights. Almost every poll this election season, including the latest YouGov poll, has shown that Americans prefer Kamala Harris over Donald Trump on issues such as abortion, LGBTQ rights, and health care. Now, with just three days left in this historic election, Donald Trump appears to be adding an already massive gender gap with his counterproductive rhetoric. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.